Hey guys, it's Jeanette. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes. Today I am one year older and I am loving every moment of it. 2016 has been life changing so far and I even got some good news today and I can't wait to share with you guys. And I know a lot more is going to happen in 2016. So thank you guys for all the support. I know I've been pretty busy and I just want to do a quick video just letting you guys know what I have been up to. So I am actually working. I got the job at the ICU unit where I wanted to apply. It's the same unit that I worked as a student nurse in my last uh, clinical rotation in nursing school. And my preceptor is actually one of the uh, nurses that I work with as a student. So I was super excited that she uh, was assigned to be my preceptor and I cannot wait to spend the next three months just learning and um, literally observing how she does um, provide care and I'm super excited so it's been great. Um, last week I worked my first week on the unit and it is amazing to see how quickly you learn on the floor when you're working as a nurse. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm loving the whole you work three days and then you're off for the rest of the week. <laughs> um, but I will say I have been doing a lot. So in addition to actually landing um, that job and doing the, the week orientation, um, I've also completed my first RN to BSN course. I mentioned before I'm actually doing my online RN to BSN um, degree with UTA, um, University of Texas at Arlington. And so the first course that I finished was the um, transition to professional nursing. And these are just the two books that um, I had to use for that course. This is just like an APA writing guide, which I thought was pretty awesome. It was about 11 bucks. And I wish I bought something like this while I was in the nursing program because we were learning APA and writing papers and it was always a struggle on how to properly cite um, within you know the paper as well as like the reference sheet. So I really, really recommend this. And you know, when you do this bachelor's program, if you're like me, um, you have your ADN. Um, it's all about like writing papers. So this was actually a great purchase and uh, I look forward to using it. And then the second book, um, it's called Role Development. Sorry, can you see that? Role Development in Professional Nursing Practice. And so far this book I think is going to be used in two courses. The next course that I'm going to take in about a week is the, is, sorry. It's called, Health Policy and Legal Aspects of Professional Nursing. Sorry, man, I was blinded with the light and I couldn't read and it's like a spreadsheet. Anyways, so I'm super excited that I'm actually already working towards uh, my bachelor's. And at first I was like, why am I doing all of this? I'm really um, going to be stressed. You know, on top of like, I was in the middle of this class and this class only um, is a five week long class so in the middle of that class I was doing the orientation and now I'm working I was you know trying to balance um, the two and the good thing is that for the program I believe assignments are due Wednesday nights and Saturday nights so time management is key just to make sure that I get all the assignments in before I'm working because I don't want to get off at 7 15 7 30 and come home and you know uh, be stressed to complete the assignment but anyways so yeah I finished my first class um, I believe I have maybe uh, nine more nursing classes and maybe if like a math and a literature course left and if I stay on track I'm hoping to be done uh, with my bachelor's by the end of the year and hopefully November the latest but we shall see so <clears throat> Sorry. So everything has been pretty awesome. I've been buying scrubs, um, my uniform, and shoes. Oh, shoes. So I asked you guys um, on social media, I was like, you know, my feet hurt. <laughs> that was the worst part of the entire week um, working was the fact that literally I was tiptoeing to my recliner to put my legs up because my feet hurt so bad. Um, but I discovered compression socks and that's definitely um, helping me and then I bought two new pairs of shoes uh, which I'm hoping to try out this week and I hope I find the right brand, the right shoe to really um, keep me kind of, um, you know, up to par because man, when your feet kind of hurt, it really just kind of stinks. So 
Anyways, enough talking about feet. Um, <laughs> but it's really important. Like, I would pay any amount of money for the right shoe. I even want to look into making, like, is there a company out there that makes custom shoes? Anyways, so, uh, I'm just, like, blabbering. Okay, sorry. So, I'm a little over the place. I am actually about to go out to dinner and celebrate my birthday with uh, my study buddies. Um, and FYI, we all have gotten jobs, so that's awesome. Two of them are in orientation, the other one's already working, and so, and we're actually in all different units, which I think is going to be great because we all have different experiences and stuff like that. Anyways, so let's talk about really quickly why I decided to do the ADN in why I decided to do an online bachelor's program because I feel like it's a very commonly asked question. So the ADN, um, if you guys viewed a lot of my old videos, you know, this is my second career, um, my second degree, I have a bachelor's and I wanted to change careers in a manner that I can fund the tuition out of pocket. So my associates, I paid everything cash and I just didn't want any more student loan debt. So I thought that was the best way to change careers and still work um, in my field and go to school. So I went to the community college and I paid um, everything cash and I told myself, hey, find an employer that will be willing to uh, you know, do tuition for reimbursement and then have them help you get the bachelor's. So good news is um, now that I went to the orientation and looked at the employee handbook, the hospital I'm working for also has a partnership with the program that I'm in, which is awesome because that means um, a reduced tuition. And then on top of that, my employer also gives me uh, tuition reimbursement, which is super great. So that's pretty much kind of how I saw this whole like ADN to BSN transition going. And they really do promote um, the ADN nurses there to seek a higher degree. So I'm happy that I'm already started. I've finished my first class and I start my second RN to BSN class in a week. And everything's just really falling right into place and I couldn't be happier. So for those that are asking how I got an ICU position as a new grad with no working experience, my answer to you and advice is to network. Um, this is the hospital and clinical rotation that I worked as for my critical care um, clinical rotation. So I really liked the unit. I liked the people. I liked the fact that I'm taking care of higher acuity patients. And I really expressed that working as a student nurse. So the fact that I expressed that, they also expressed an interest. They were like, are you going to apply when you graduate? I'm like, of course, you will see my name. And I got contact information, business cards, and the next week after that, I, you know, prepared my resume, had my teachers look at it. I brought a copy um, for HR, the director, and a charge nurse, along with references. And they really saw that I was interested in pretty much working for them, you know, the first week on the unit as a student nurse. So once you have that rolling, then you just check in. You get like the steps, okay, well, let me know when you graduate or let me know when you get your license and that's pretty much how it worked out for me and I'm just beyond um, grateful that I have this opportunity. I know it's not handed to a lot of people and I want to say that I worked for it and this is an area that I'm really really interested in critical care. Uh, I was super excited I believe the last semester that I was just like where do I want to work um, and I really found the ICU as just where I felt most comfortable and so far it's just been a great experience so i hope that helps answer that question let's see what else um i think that's about it i'm going to keep it short i'm going to enjoy my birthday dinner if you have any questions leave in the comments below oh yeah so if you have a fitbit 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 please add me i need some motivation to get steps in especially when i'm not on the unit when i'm home i was just on netflix all day today pretty bad um, but anyways, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and share the videos. Bye.